Hey guys, welcome back, and today we are tackling some summer fun projects. The pool is up and active, but it's getting a little dirty, so we need to figure out how we're going to clean this. Now we bought something from Walmart, that little strainer thing, whatever you call that, uh, skimmer thing over there. Um, it's not working out too well. Uh, it's made more for capturing uh, large pieces of debris. Um, it, the pool is great, but um, this piece right here, it just, it, it kind of gets in the way. So we're going to look at something different. And that's one thing we found is Walmart pool accessories are really pretty expensive. Um, we found some online at Amazon that's a whole kit that appears to be uh, much cheaper. You can see right here is what's in the kit. So we're gonna we're gonna pull this stuff out today and uh, see what it looks like see how it works okay guys here's what comes with it, it looks like the skimmers kind of similar that may not be an advantage for us um, but it does have the vac pieces uh, that's one thing we really wanted to get into uh, it has the brush the vac end uh, the attachment for your pool uh, intake so and and also the pole for you can attach everything to it um, let's get into this and uh, and see what it looks like. Um, by the way, this one's much cheaper than it was at Walmart. I think this whole kit was uh, under thirty dollars, where I, I know this piece alone at Walmart's about twenty four dollars. Okay, guys, here's what's in the box. Uh, looks like we got a, a long hose, the scrub brush. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Yeah, it looks like the skimmer is. Not as big as the other one, so I think that is going to work better. Okay, guys, here's everything that's in the box. Um, looks like we got a set of directions. Uh, I don't want to forget this piece. That uh, is an adapter for the intake, so we can attach that hose and run our, our pool vac along the bottom. Okay, guys, it looks like this is how we have to put this together. We put the debris bag in here. We just twist this piece on top and that's how the vacuum goes together. Now it looks like it's going to suck this way to go through the debris bag. So this piece goes on this end and there's your pull vac. So next we attach our hose here and we attach our pull here and then we'll be ready to vacuum. Put on here. Let's see which end is which. It looks like they're both the same. We can get that on there. Oh yeah, it's gonna fit. So we make sure that we get that hose over that seal right there and we're good to go. Now also, the pole, you just pinch these in. Sorry for shaking the camera. And you let those uh, go right into those holes to lock it all in. Then we can move it around. Now one thing you'll note in the directions that is very important is you have to put this thing in underwater and get all the air out before you hook it to your pump otherwise you can ruin your pump so make sure you do that before you try to vacuum your pool out just stick this end all the way in uh, let the water come in and you'll be fine okay guys we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and insert this We're going to get it all the way down in the water. Then we're going to put our other end of our hose in to get the water off. Okay guys, we got ours put in the water. We need to put the other end of this hose in. Get all the air out of the line before we try to hook it up. And as a side note, an interesting uh, use for your solar cover. Evidently the kids think it's a hammock. So what we need to do next, we've got the hose in, we got it full of water. We need to switch out the ends right here because my skimmer if you saw my last video uh, has a bigger end so we're going to swap that out really quick so we just tighten this on like this i made a house under the he mowed so we got in the pool Hey, hand me that in, Sam, please. Mom. 
I almost thought of a heat stroke while I was moving. And then we get our hose on past that O-ring. Next, this is going to be noisy, I apologize, but we're going to turn on the pump. All right, we're just going to run this across the bottom, see if we come up with, uh, with any debris. Be gentle on the bottom. And with this uh, solar cover on, it does tend to keep a lot of the debris out. So there's another another option for you. Um, we don't have a lot of trees close to the pool. This pine tree and this tree here, which I'll probably will cut down soon, is it's the closest. So we don't have a lot of debris. Uh, Sam's in there vacuuming. This is actually looking pretty good at the pump. Let's, uh, let's check the vacuum, see if we got any debris in there. I think next we'll check that vacuum and we're gonna hook the skimmer back up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the pump off. Okay, let's pull it up and reveal how well this vacuum works. Oh, ho, ho. it definitely works. Look at all that crud in there. All right. So I think this product is recommended. It doesn't look like it's gonna damage the bottom with these soft brushes. I'll put a link to this kit in the description. Let's go check out what else is in there. Okay, while they're fighting over who gets the vacuum, I'm gonna go check the rest of the kit out. Uh, like I said, this skimmer, um, it's better than the other one I have. I think the, the holes are a little bit bigger, but it's definitely going to be easier to maneuver around to get the large leaves and stuff that fall in there out. Um, this piece is just to kind of scrub the slime off the bottom. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to use that much because the bottom's not really that slimy in mine yet. Um, plus the vacuum has some brushing attachments on it, so I'm hoping that picks some of it up. And then this is a just a smaller... Uh, vacuum attachment if you don't want to use the brush piece I don't know if maybe you can get the walls or something a little better with this I'm not sure what exactly that one's for um, probably not going to use that one much since the other one seems to get the bottom going really well I mean overall this is uh, I think this is a pretty good kit I'll put a link to that in the description and uh, it's much cheaper than what you can buy at Walmart that's all we have for today thanks for watching um, Look for the next one uh, when I try to, to build a cover roller for this solar cover. Um, may not be the exact next video, but it's going to be coming soon. So uh, thanks for watching. Okay, one more thing, guys, um, real quick. If you could, um, I don't ask people to support me. I don't ask for money. I do this all for free because I love this stuff. But if you could and you want to support me, check the links below in the description. Buy my Kindle book. It's, I think it's $3. So not a lot of money. Helps me uh, keep things going. Um, check it out. It's about photography. You, you may like it. Uh, it's actually about taking uh, your own senior pictures, but there's a lot of good overall photography information if you want to take portraits of your family. Uh, I, I think there's pretty good information in there. Let me know what you think. Uh, click the link down below. You can buy it and uh, help support the channel. All right. Thank you.